Hey friends, Vikas over here and this is VR Genius. Guys, today I am with a new video around Raspberry Pi. We will see how to interface 16 cross 2 LCD module with the Pi by using Java and Pi 4J library. And if you are new to this Java and Pi 4J running on Pi, you should check out my earlier videos on this, for which I have given the links down below in the description. So the 16 cross 2 LCD can come handy if you are using Raspberry Pi in headless mode and you want to print out some debug messages from your application. So in this video, we will see how to print out the IP address of the Raspberry Pi which is actually configured in DSP mode to the 16 cross 2 LCD. So being said that, let's get started guys. So guys, first let's see how to connect the 16 cross 2 LCD with the Raspberry Pi GPIO header. So over here, I am using the HD44780 controller based 16 cross 2 LCD and this over here represents the Raspberry Pi 40 pin GPIO header. So the way is straightforward, you just need 6 GPIO pins of your Raspberry Pi to be connected to the LCD and that is in 4 bit mode. So if you are going for 8 bit mode, you can connect like uh, rest 4 data pins of uh, the LCD to another 4 digital pins of Raspberry Pi. So over here coming to the LCD, there are pins like RS, Enable, RW and then V0, VDD, VSS. Okay, uh, so over here how it connects is the VSS which uh, like corresponds to the ground is directly connected to the ground. The V0 uh, like it, it uh, like makes the contrast of the LCD. So if you want to uh, like work in full contrast, you can directly ground it. But if you want to change and it is uh, like make the contrast variable, you can put a potential meter between VCC and ground and you can connect the middle pin to the V0 or that is called as VEE. Okay. Then the RS pin is goes directly to the GPIO of Raspberry Pi that is over here connected with uh, pin number 5 of the Raspberry Pi and these P GPIOs numbering are over here according to the BCM layout. So if you are uh, as we are going with Pi 4J, you should check out the Pi 4J pin numbering in your application to uh, work accordingly. So again the RW pin is uh, like made grounded because we are only using the write operation to the LCD we are not reading anything from it which is actually done through a DB7 pin so we have connected the RW pin to the ground directly then enable pin is again connected to the pin number 3 of pi that is the I2C HDF pin then we have left DB0 to DB3 of 16 cross 2 LCD open as we are going to work on 4 bit mode then the DV4, DV5, DV6, DV7 pin are connected to different GPIOs of the Pi like the TXRX pin 8 and 10 and 7 12. So this is a simple straightforward connection and to power it up the 16 uh, cross 2 module I have used the 5 volt supply coming out of the GPIO header of Pi. Okay, So we don't need any external components uh, other than uh, like the LCD. And if you are interested in really making the contrast variable and uh, like you want to change the contrast, you can go ahead with a potentiometer by putting between VCC ground and VEE. So let's quickly connect it and we'll uh, go through the program and we'll check out if this works. Uh, so guys, this is how I've connected the LCD to the Raspberry Pi module. And you can see I have used nothing else other than the LCD module itself and the Pi. So I have just connect diet connections with the Pi GPIO pins, okay. And other than I have just plugged in the power cable and Ethernet cable to access it by SSH. So let's power it on and get back to the computer so we can download our application and we'll run it. And after plugging in, you should see black squares over the first row on the LCD, okay. It's uh, something like this. Okay, to start with the programming, let's open up Eclipse, go to File, go ahead with New Project, that is Java Project, give it a name like 16 cross 2 LCD with Pi, and I'm going to uh, save it somewhere else. We can go ahead with this default location that will save your project onto the 
Eclipse workspace. So I'll go ahead with this one. Now we need to add the Pi4j library to our project. So again, if you are new to this, uh, like Java programming on Pi and uh, running application using Pi4j, you should check out my earlier videos for which I have actually given the links down below in the description to get started. So over here, I'm just going to like add the Pi4j lips, but it's going to add external JAWS and I'll just add these things. now create on the uh, like package create a class new class that is lcd add this one and click on finish uh, so we are done with the skeleton now let's copy the code from my github repository to over here i have actually given the link down below to this code in the description uh, so make sure to check out that <laughs> or if, if uh, you are familiar with pi 4 j you can straightly go ahead with the pi 4 j uh, examples and you'll find the lcd example over there but i have just modified the example code to print out the ip of the raspberry pi onto the lcd so just copy this code over here and i'm just going to put it I'll change the name to LCD. Yeah. Now everything is set up. Uh, so you are good to go. So let's have a walkthrough through this code. First, come into the class. Nothing special. So over here, we have defined some static variables. That is number of rows your LCD support. Then constants for number row, row number one and two. That is like row number one corresponds to zero, and row number two corresponds to one then number of columns it supports and the mode actually this is the one is not required then over here it says just simple statement that prints out uh, that uh, we'll know our application is running okay under the terminal then we have created an instance of gpio factory that is the gpio it is actually not required on uh, just it is used for starting out the gpio pins okay then GPIO LCD display object is created that takes different parameters such as the number of rows, number of columns, and the GPIO pins corresponds to different pin of LCD. That is again this pin numbering are according to the Pi4j pin numbering. So GPIO 9 corresponds to the uh, like GPIO pin 9 according to Pi4j. Okay. Then uh, as I said earlier, I have connected pin 9 to RS. Then pin 8 goes to enable pin and 7 uh, 15 16 and 1 for uh, d4 d5 d6 and d7 so i can just write over here d4 d5 d6 and d7 okay then lcd clear clears the total display then say delay for one second and the lc dot write lc row one uh, that is again with some text string prints out the data to the row one and lc dot write two will print out the again uh, given string to the row number two of the display then i can just put a simple delay over here for let's say two second and uh, I'll uh, just get the network info from uh, by using the Pi 4 j library and I'll just print out the IP onto the LCD and that is in row number 2. As well as I'm just printing out the IP onto the terminal so we can check out if both are uh, right uh, like similar or something else is like we are not missing some text on the LCD. Okay. Then finally we have shut down the GPIO. Okay. Now let's export this program. To do that click on export but uh, before that we need to run it once okay so if you are new to this make sure to check out my earlier tutorials to have a in-depth uh, knowledge how it works 
all these java application on raspberry pi and more okay so let's clear it click on export click on runnable jar i am going to give it a name export destination anything click on copy required libraries into subfolder finish yes yes now open up winscp select your test.jar or whatever jar file you have created along with the lib folder and hit on upload so you can use any software for the file transfer but uh, over here i am using winscp then open up putty and over here navigate to the folder where you have copied your jar files so for me it is desktop tap in ls to make sure your jar files are there okay now to run the jar file you can use the command sudo java jar then um, file name that is test jar okay uh, over here it is printed out ip address is 192.168.0.101 and uh, let's check out on the display and uh, we'll see what is the ip address printed out uh, so guys as you can see over here on the lcd it has printed out we are genius as well as the ip address so that's all for today guys thank you thanks for watching make sure to subscribe my channel not to miss upcoming videos so see you next time with my new content till then goodbye